underappreciated role in boxing. His job is to protect the fighter from career and life-ending injuries and keep order in the ring while not getting too involved where it ruins the fight. Here is some of the most outstanding performances by a referee. The fight to start off this list is Vargas vs. Titsworth. Titsworth kissed Vargas in between a clinch which led to Vargas striking him in between the break. The ref seeing both fouls take place immediately took action. I got time out! This fighter, unsportsmanlike conduct, kissing that fighter! You do not kiss a fighter! One point! Two points! Intentional! Two points! Okay? One point for him hitting back! One point! One point! Okay? Two points! <laughs> Two points for kissing. You're gonna get disqualified. Got it? Because you're unsportsmanlike. Now box. This is your last chance, and I'm disqualifying you. This fight was not aired on HBO. This was during the untelevised card. But the HBO team was doing rehearsals before the broadcast had started. And there it is. Indeed, he'd kissed Vargas behind the ear, which prompted Vargas to knock the living shit out of him. And a lot of guys will do that when you kiss him. Yeah. <laughs> I think I would react the same way as well. Reasons why the commentary was out of the ordinary from the crew. And though kissing has been ruled out, Titsworth shows he can still hug. Yes. As he's been holding Vargas for the early part of this round. With a name like Titsworth, he's lucky he didn't feel him up. I wonder how many points comes come <laughs> off for that move. Now you're going to ask me why I included Lawrence Cole on my list. Many of his awful performances leave his good performances in the shadows. Well, I hate to say it, but I think Lawrence Cole has done his normal dreadful job. <laughs> He's just a dreadful referee, unfortunately, and that's one of the black eyes on the state of Texas. But this fight, on this night, with all the planets, stars, nebulas, and galaxies aligned, Cole put on one hell of a show. He didn't favor Maidana nor Broner. He didn't take shit from no one. The cross face by Broner in the clinch. Well, Napoleon just said make it rough. Gotta make it rough. But Broner will answer the rough stuff. This fight here just shows that maybe Cole is a good ref. Maybe there are powers in boxing that prevent him from doing what we saw in December 2013. Tyson bites Holyfield and he tries to play it off to convince Lane that it wasn't a bite. Mills Lane, who is not only a ref but a United States federal judge, was not going to take that and called Mike out, resulting in Mike's priceless reaction accepting that L. George gonna go. He's a judge. He'll take no nonsense. Gonna cost him two points. Two points. Two points off here. He bit his ear. Two points off. Two. A lot of people were angry with the Taylor stoppage and didn't believe Steele's word. Richard, you describe the end of the fight and why you stopped it. Well, Larry, I stopped it because, you know, Melzer had took a lot of good shots, a lot of hard shots. And I asked him twice, are you all right? Are you all right? And he could not continue. I don't care about the time. When I see a man that has enough, I'm stopping the fight. Well, Steele was telling the truth, and this fight here clearly shows it. Tetsuyoshi, though was getting outclassed by Saha Prom, did not show any sign there could be something wrong with him, especially on the broadcast. <laughs> Saha Prom lands a couple shots that really did not look all that hard compared to what he landed earlier and Steele jumps in very quickly to stop the fight. Tatsuyoshi who seemed to look perfectly fine then fainted, Steele catching him in his arms saving him from a brutal fall to the ground. This just shows to you that he actually does care for the fighters well-being and it's not because of politics due to a very powerful promoter. Jack, Jack Reese had his hands full this night between two fighters who are notoriously known 
for fighting dirty. Even HBO stated, once the bell had started, Reese is in for a lot of work. And they were right. Both guys equally were fighting dirty, and Reese equally warned both guys. Left-handed, so he's leading with a with a real strong shot that power jab. Unfortunately, both guys did not respect Reese's commands and kept on with the foul play to the point Reese was clipped by a punch while trying to break up a hold. Reese, who was absolutely disrespected by both fighters, momentarily put a halt to the fight, took two points off from both fighters. Try to get control of the fight. I got, I got hit. I gotta take a second. Real say he got hit. I got intentional fouls. Put in to the commission for the two to get fined if the fight is waved off to further fouls. I am not gonna allow this. You're instigating a lot of this. And I'm not putting up with it. Not only that, you're hitting me. Okay, Andre. I'm not gonna allow this. Okay. This is what I got. Stay right there. We're not done. Stay right there. Two points. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Stop. Stop. I know. Relax. I'd like to find both of them. You determine what it is. Now you're asking why Jack took two points away from both guys. He is making a clear statement. There will not be another point deduction. The next action will be a disqualification. Okay, I just want you both to know, I've recommended fines. If I have to disqualify you guys, nobody's getting paid. We understand each other? We understand? Okay, I knock this shit off. Okay, go back. After all that, Ward and Rodriguez cut that shit out and actually box clean for the rest of the fight. And that's what I call putting order back into the ring. By far the most talked about performance from a referee among old timer boxing officials. There has been several occasions when there has been a double knockdown. The ref would not count both guys, only counting one guy. On this night here, Larry Hazard does the textbook move of counting both guys as they went down. The second the first guy gets up, Larry motions over to the next fighter and continues to count. This is absolutely one of the greatest performances by a referee. That's my list of the most outstanding performances by a referee. If you want more videos like these, be sure to like, and if you're new, subscribe. I'm Alfa Sancho, and I'm out.